your permission? Our expedition, our crew members and soldiers crew are ready here and present uh, to take final examinations. Uh, Commander, your chicken uh, flight uh, engineer, Jack Fisher. We're wishing you luck. How do you like the Moscow Star City? Oh, I love it. It's it's my second home. You know, I spent most of the last three years three years here, and we have a nice little cottages that we live in, just about. 400 yards that way. Um, people are great, and the training's been wonderful. So I really like it. Jack, can you talk for a second about the complexity of the training throughout this whole flow and your level of preparedness? Well, uh, hopefully we'll demonstrate that today. Uh, I think that we've had an incredible amount of training. And on this station, you do so many different activities that you can't be uh, a master of all of those, you have to just have the general skills to uh, do all the activities on the station. As far as the Soyuz, you know, it's people say, well, it's only six hours up and three or four hours down, and it's most of our training because it's the most important six hours and four hours that, that most things can go wrong. And this is an incredibly reliable uh, spacecraft, and that means it's incredibly complex. So we train for years. Uh, to make sure that we know all those systems, that we know the indications of problems, and that we can switch things over when we need to uh, so that we can safely get to the station and safely get home. I, I hope we're ready. We'll see you today. <laughs> Thank you very much, colleagues. Uh, traditional photograph with Fyodor Nikolaevich. <laughs> I am 16-3, copy. RPV-1 is closed. We have arrived. Yes, we're ready. Can I start? You can take all of them all at once. That doesn't write. <laughs> Minus 10. <laughs> Taking off 10 points. <laughs> well, you're probably used to the markers. You see, the conclusion depends on which side of the table you're standing. Thank you. <laughs> May we ask you a question? Jack, uh, you're a seasoned uh, Air Force test pilot. Uh, you've been in training for this for quite a while. What are your thoughts as you head into the home stretch now prior to launch? Oh, we're just, we're really excited about getting down to Baikonur and actually doing this for real. I think we've been training for so long. Uh, we work great as a team. Uh, hopefully you'll see that over the next two days uh, as we work through our final exams. But mostly it's just excitement. I'm, I'm really excited to get there and, and to go with someone as experienced as Kyodor Nikolaevich. It's, it's a huge honor for me. Uh, I continually learn things from him, and I can't wait to be in the Soyuz floating around and learning all the other tricks that he has up his sleeve for me. And speaking of the Soyuz, uh, what are some of the most interesting things you've learned about this vehicle during the training and some of the challenges? You know, it's just the most reliable spacecraft we've we've really ever had. It's It's got so many systems and backup systems, which is what makes our training so complex, because you have to understand which of those systems are working and uh, be able to transition when there is a problem. Uh, it's incredibly reliable. It's become our second home, and uh, we're just excited to get in her and, and light the candle. Subscribe for more space. space, 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 space.